reservoir modeling requires a good geological understanding of the reservoir, an appreciation for the quality of the available data and a good understanding of the different modeling techniques. Data preparation process includes importing well data and seismic attribute cubes and preparing the data for use in the property modeling using some processes such as the well calculator, well log editor and well correlation. The preparation also includes defining a conceptual sedimentological model and appropriate geological knowledge of the area. E slash lithology interpretation. Discrete logs can be interpreted by using the well log calculator, through interactive sedimentological facies interpretation or a combination of both. The normal workflow is to do a rough generation of a facies log by using the calculator, and afterwards, do a more detailed interpretation based on all of the well logs by using the interactive sedimentological facies interpretation. The discrete logs can be imported from other databases or they can be created by using the train estimation model process, neural network classification method. Interactive interpretation in a well section, display the well logs that give information about the facies and then draw the different facies in the correct position in a separate track. Calculator, as, the calculator can be used to set an expression such as if the gamma ray logs value are less than a certain value then set facies to sandstone, otherwise set facies to shale. Train estimation model, an example this process gives access to tools for neural network analysis enabling you to create a classification model object, e.g. facies. Import, petrol can read loss or ASCII to import manually or via open spirit automatically. OpenSpirit, Petrol supports OpenSpirit application which works as a middle layer between software applications and various databases and data repositories, allowing Petrol to import and export data to the database, irrespective of the platform. Interactive Petrophysics plugin, for users using Petrol and Interactive Petrophysics asterisk, IP, is available an IP plugin to Petrol that can sync directly petrophysical data like logs and tops between Petrol and IP. This plugin will dramatically ease the data flow between the two Windows applications because a direct data transfer between the two data stores can take place without relying on OpenSpirit as the middleware. How to set up a neural net to create a facies log. Create the train estimation model process under the process diagram utilities. Our aim is to look at some wells containing basic continuous log data, use these data and their correlations to create a discrete output that can compare to our interactive drawing done earlier. For example two discrete classes as output. One to do a simple classification, select some wells that contain some basic logs, GR and porosity. 2. The data that is common in the chosen wells have an active toggle box, while the remaining logs in this case are not mutual to all wells and are therefore grayed out. 3. Note that the correlation that is output should not be too close to 1 as that indicates the data may come from the same source. However if the correlation is too low, there is no relationship at all between the data and it will be difficult to achieve a good mathematical model that can be used for prediction. Go to the settings tab, try to use unsupervised as a first approach, if no facies logs exists, specify amount of classes to output, here too, possible sand and shale. 5. Use default training parameters. Click apply slash ok to run the process. 6. Toggle on the new general discrete, neural net 1, log from global well logs. Compare it to the input logs and the interactive facies interpretation done earlier. 7. The objective facies code can be changed to specific names and colors, resembling e.g. your own interpretation. This can guide you further, and is applied to all wells. The result is the classification model which can be used for prediction. The idea of neural net method is to be able to create a general relationship between some input parameters. This general relationship is called an estimation model. Once a relationship has been established, and has been validated as a good general relationship it can be used for prediction at unknown points. 
Certification Workflow Summary Step 1. Establish training model based on key wells, providing input data for a neural net model. Step 2. Use input logs that have some relation to your desired output, for example clay volume, effective porosity, and permeability. Step 3. Instead of defining a set of unknown facies classes, unsupervised training, the key facies intervals can be identified from a core study. The intervals are drawn as a facies interpretation, desired output, with a set of known facies classes, then supervised training will be performed. Step 4. Neural net method is performed, supervised training, and results in a computed output, facies log. Based on the training parameters, the errors found between the desired output and computed output in iteration 1 is backpropagated as weights to adjust the training system. The training parameters will decide on how many iterations will be performed. Some additional notes to n slash g and modeling. Reservoir at well log level. Net reservoir equals is the potential reservoir interval containing hydrocarbons. It is generally a function of V-clay slash V-shale and EFF porosity. Net pay equals is the generally seen as the producible part of the net reservoir and is therefore a function of V-clay slash V-shale, EFF porosity and irreducible water saturation. When applying cutoffs for logs the result is a flag value of 1 and 0 at each log sample point, 1 equals pay zone, 0 equals no pay. Slash gross modeling. Upscale binary, 1 and 0, continuous logs, so a continuous n slash g distribution in upscaled position is used as basis for 3D modeling. Model n slash g condition to facies, also where there are sections of no reservoir. Slash gross in petrol volume estimation. 1 If you do not condition your property values to a facies, you will want to use a net slash gross value which is associated with the entire interval for the zone. 2. When you condition that property to a particular facies model, use 1 as net slash gross in the volume trick calculations. By creating the facies model and conditioning the property to the facies, the net slash gross is already accounted for. 3. Alternatively, you may want to use cutoffs in the property calculator to calculate a net slash gross property which is dependent on the facies, for example, if facies equals sandstone, then net slash gross equals 0.6, if facies equals silt, then net slash gross equals 0.34. However this is a hard constraint that will not allow variations around the model as conditioning or co-simulation will. Petrophysics Logs Interpretation Continuous logs can be interpreted by using the well log and properties calculator. Also these logs can be imported from other databases or they can be created by using the train estimation model process, neural net estimation method. Later, the calculator can be used to set up a different expression or predefined formulas to calculate petrophysical properties. Train estimation model an example this process gives access to tools for neural network analysis enabling you to create an estimation model object, e.g. porosity or permeability logs. Import, Petrol can read loss or ASCII to import manually, or via open spirit and IP automatically. Equation for SW logs. An accurate determination of initial oil in place, STOIP, in the early life of reservoirs or evaluation of developed reservoir is required to estimate the hydrocarbon volumes in place or left in the reservoir. A modified Archie formula is the basic equation to compute water saturation in clean formation. The exactness of water saturation value for given reservoir conditions depends on the accuracy of Archie parameters A, M and N. Large number of saturation equations, such as Indonesia equation, Nigeria equation, Waxman Smith's equation, dual water equation. All reduced to Archie's equation when there is no shale. In the slide, the Archie's equation water saturation is a function of several variables RW, resistivity of the water in the pore space, RT, total composite formation resistivity, O, porosity. Other variables that are a function of the rock. 
n, saturation exponent, 2. It can be set up to 2 in the simple case, higher in oil wet rocks and lower in water wet rocks. m, cementation exponent, 2. It can be set up to 2 in the simple case, greater than 2 in poorly connected moldic formation or 2 in fractured formation. a, empirical constant, 1. It can be set up to 0.8 in sandstones and 1 in limestones. Saturation. Calculation of SWI, initial fluid saturations, is important as it dictates the original oil in place, STOIP, estimation in any 3D reservoir model. Subsequently it affects the dynamic modeling, history match and predictions. If cores are available, combined core data permeability, with identifiable reservoir rock types, RRTs, and log data, porosity and SWI, can be used to find capillary pressure, PC. Then a J function can be calculated for each RRT subsequently used to calculate the SWI in the reservoir. Function, Leverett, is based on net effective porosity, which is the average effective porosity of the producible part of a rock unit. It should be calculated differently for oil and gas as the input parameters change. Full. J oil equals SQRT, perm slash poro, x delta density, equals 0.301 between oil to water, x 3.14 x 9.81 x h underscore above underscore contact. J oil equals J oil slash, interfacial tension x cos of contact angle x 100, equals J oil slash, 30x1 x 100. SW equals A J E X P B equals 0.347 X J E X P 0.486. SW equals Leverett J function for capillary pressure, PC. Capillary pressure occurs in porous media when two or more immiscible fluids are present in the pore space, it is the pressure difference between the wetting and the non-wetting phase. Since gravity forces are balanced by capillary forces, PC at a point in the reservoir is estimated from the height above the oil-water contact, or oil and water phases, and the difference in fluid densities. PC curves are normally estimated in laboratory. Reservoir calculations require a normalized curve for PC measurements, obtained from several plug samples at different depths. Due to heterogeneity of a reservoir no single curve can be derived. Leverett introduced the first dimensionless PC correlation function J, SW. This function accounts for change of perm, porosity, and wettability when pore geometry is constant. W calculation using the calculator for properties. 1. Create an oil-water contact under the make contacts process. 2. Go to geometrical modeling process, select above contact method and insert the oil-water contact. Rename the new property as above underscore contact, for example. 3. In the input pane insert a new folder, name it functions, rbm create new function for the height of water saturation inside petrol or in the same folder rbm import on selection select function xy, ascii, format to import a pre-existing function file, the function should have one vertical column with height and one with sw values. 4. Transfer height above contact to SW property using the function. In the properties folder RMB select calculator and type SW equals function underscore name, above underscore contact, and use SW template to make a new SW property. W calculation using permeability slash porosity relationship, J function, from a macro file. Create your statements in a text editor, macro or in the property calculator. For example, temp equals above contact, asterisk sqrt, perm slash poro. sw equals 0.5 asterisk pow, temp dash 0.2. sw equals if, sw1 comma 1 sw. sw equals if, sw equals u1, sw. If the statement is created in text editor, Make sure it has a .max slash .text extension, then use from file in property calculator, browse the file, and click on run. Manual. SW, uncertainty. 
1d, the input petrophysical parameters derived from logs such as porosity, cementation factor, saturation exponent, formation water resistivity, true formation resistivity and capillary pressure data are subject to different uncertainties related to data acquisition and analysis. 3d, the static distribution of initial SW is sensitive to structural variations relative to hydrocarbon contacts, distribution of RRT's reservoir rock type, saturation region, to which the saturation formula may be tied, and also resolution effects related to the dimensions of the cellular model. W upscaling logs. Due to skewed nature of most SW distributions, arithmetic upscaling will be too optimistic, in terms of SW, therefore too pessimistic in terms of oil in place. Using a midpoint pick or median method will follow the distribution better. Also the random pick can be used but with caution. During upscaling, SW can be biased to a reservoir log, whether it is an RRT or facies log. Alternatively a discrete NTG log, see next two slides, can be used as bias.